guys, I'm Sarah and I am going to show you today what is apparently the best way of preserving eggs. My reason for doing this is that we have our chickens and of course they lay tons of eggs over summer. I'm not sure I'd say more than what we can get through because we are a very capable bunch. However, we miss our eggs during winter. I, I actually have to buy eggs. I go to the supermarket and I've always got this idea that the person at the checkout is laughing at me because I buy a big sack of chook pellets and a dozen eggs. I have heard all sorts about getting artificial lighting in your chicken coop to get them to keep laying throughout winter, but I don't really like that. I just kind of think, well, if, if that's what nature intended for the chickens to give them a break over winter, so be it. And our chickens are just as much pets as they are egg machines, if you like. What you will need for this is some of this stuff. It was about $9 for 500 grams of it and it'll last for ages because you only need you only need 30 grams per litre of water to do this. Now you'll actually find it, you, you might not find this stuff in the supermarket but you'll find it from places like Bunnings or Minor 10, maybe Placemakers. It says it's actually an accelerant used in compost so you'll find it in the gardening section. How it works is the calcium actually seal, seals the eggshells and preserves them. Apparently it can preserve them for up to two years. You need some freshly laid eggs for this. You don't want supermarket eggs because they've been washed. You don't want eggs that have been washed. Now of course, good old free range eggs, they're going to have a bit of muck on them. Washing actually removes the bloom that's kind of added to eggshells as they're laid and that bloom protects them from bacteria getting in. So as soon as you wash them, you really need to keep them refrigerated or you know, keep them really, really nice and clean. So if you wash them, basically this lime can seep into the egg and you don't wanna be eating it. When you are doing this, you'll also need some gloves because especially if you've got sensitive skin, you can tell just by looking at me, I've got sensitive skin. Um, it, it can really, really dry your skin out because it's got very high, very high pH, I think they said. I'm trying to sound all scientific now, I'm so not. First thing we want to do is mix this up. We need room temperature water. So I'm just going to sort of run the tap so it's tepid-ish. I'm sounding scientific again, aren't I? So I'll start with a litre. You want to make sure that you get enough water so that it completely covers the eggs you put in. So I'll just see how much... I think that will do it about 30 grams of this. It's not actually lime, it's derived from limestone. You know I about limestone. Oh, no. She knew that. Now also, you meant to avoid inhaling this as well. It says avoid inhalation, so don't sniff it. I'm saying that because I know she wants to sniff can't it. Sniff that one. Sam can't sniff it either. And so um, they, they often recommend you use a mask when using this, but the reason they say that is because it's also used on building sites. Don't ask me exactly how, something to do with concrete. And of course, when you're doing that, you want to be using a mask because there's dirt around and boof, it, it gets everywhere. Doing this, not such a biggie. So, just very carefully pour in about dirt. Oh, my scale's turned off. About 30 grams. Right, 30 grams, according to my not quite so accurate scales. This is my husband's whisk. He got a whisk for his birthday. He kept on complaining I didn't have a whisk. And the thing is, I keep saying I don't need a whisk, I got a fork. So this is the first time we've ever had a whisk. Got a whisk for his birthday. That wasn't all he got, but just put it Ah, sorry, you want to whisk. Yes, I need the whisk. You can whisk as well. You can both have a whisk. Um, little whiskers, don't slop it everywhere, maybe you're not wearing gloves. I'm just going to be placing the eggs in, that's why I've got the gloves on. Looks like milk. When you are putting the eggs in, you want to put them pointy side down. And the reason for that is that there is often an air sac in, in like the bottom of the eggs and the the, the fatter part of the egg and that air pocket 
when you store it pointy side upwards for a great length of time, um, not always, but it is inclined to move upwards. And if that reaches the yolk, then it can make the egg go off a lot sooner. So even when you're storing them on the bench or in the fridge or whatever, you always, you always store your eggs pointy side down. You have to very gently put your eggs in here. And once you've got a few of them in there, sort of, you know, put them next to each other so they point your side down. Not the end of the world if you don't, but, you know, it helps. Now apparently this lime will actually sort of settle and go to the bottom of the water. It won't stay mixed in, but you don't need to worry about remixing it or anything like that. Just leave it be. It's hard to see what the eggs are doing in there. It's hard to know if they are pointy side down or not. Of course, one thing you don't want to happen is, is water evaporating. Two ways of ensuring that doesn't happen. One is put a lid on, make sure it's a nice sealed lid. The other way is to, if you're just gonna put a cloth over it or something like that, just put a little bit of oil on the top and the oil, I've been told olive oil, but I don't know if any kind of oil would probably work for that. We'll just form a bit of a seal over the water and it will help it to stop evaporating. You don't want to put them in the fridge. You certainly don't want to freeze them. That should go without saying. You don't want to leave them in a skunking hot area. You just want to, I'm just going to put them in the back of the pantry. Just, just a nice dark full place. My plan is in about six months, I'm going to crack an egg open. Going to cook it up. For better or for worse, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If, if our chickens are still laying, then I'll be able to do a direct comparison side by side of a freshly laid egg with one of these. And I'll probably do the same in a year as well. So I'm actually gonna do some more of these, but I thought I'm just gonna, I can see the lime settling already. In the meantime, this jar, I'm just gonna keep for the purposes of this video. Hit the like button down there, leave me a comment, hit subscribe, and we'll keep you posted. Bye.